Hey guys, you're Mark the Geek. In this video, I'm sharing another gameplay video for I, um, Iron Man Avengers on the Xbox One X. Of course, this game is also available for PlayStation 4 and PC as well. And in this video, I just want to share with you guys uh, my personal review of the main campaign. And also, the reason it says spoiler on the title is because I'm going to be talking about a character that I really, really loved and love how it, uh, how it works here on this game. Now, usually, I'm a huge fan of Iron Man. Like you see right here, I'm a huge fan of Iron Man. Uh, I love how Iron Man also looks in this game and how it plays as well. I like it more than Thor, which is the two characters that fly. Um, Iron Man for me looks freaking badass. And in the movies, in the Marvel MCU movies, uh, Iron Man is my favorite character. So, But here, there's a character that I want to talk to you guys that I really liked and became my favorite character of this Avengers universe from here on I'm just gonna show you guys the characters that I really like and this character might be a huge spoiler for you guys because of the story so if you don't want to be spoiled stop watching now okay so you have be warned from here on I'm just gonna show you guys one of my favorite characters of this game and I'm gonna also share with you guys my opinion so far about the game or my personal review about the game you don't have to agree. This is my personal review. And here it is. Captain freaking America. Yes, sir. -y. Like you guys know, I also got the Earth Mightiest Edition, which I did an unboxing for it. And this statue with him was included. And wow, he looks freaking great on the statue. And in person, I think he looks even better. Uh, the gameplay with him is amazing. Um, if you want to compare it to another character, it's more like Black Widow, but with superpowers, right? Superhuman powers or strength and badass attacks. The freaking shield, the attacks with the shield is freaking awesome. Um, he, I like his speed when he's running, like right, I'm doing right here. His speed is, I don't know, really nice. Very good speed. Um, and... Of course, when it comes to the story, I, oh, by the way, this right here, I already finished the story. The campaign, I already finished it. It took me like around 12 hours to finish it. Um, that's because I didn't rush through it. If you rush through it, you can finish it around 10 hours. But I didn't rush through it. And I did some, like, for example, when I did missions like this, I actually did searching for like hidden cases or like you see right here there's a hidden case right there so i did a lot of that so for me the missions took me around 12 hours maybe more maybe it took me even more to finish the campaign because of the way that i play the game and honestly if you are going for a hundred percent all these missions like looking for all these hidden um cases and suits that you will find in cases it's gonna take you more than 12 hours okay and this right here is a mission that is actually unlocked after you beat the main campaign. So, and the, you know, after you beat the main campaign, there's a whole bunch of missions that are unlocked and will constantly be added. There's going to be more addition. There's going to be more characters added. I heard like, um, I forgot, the, there's a female that's going to be added pretty soon. Uh, but Hawkeye is also confirmed coming out within a couple months maybe or i don't know when but i did like the story the story is really good i kamala kamala khan was amazing she is freaking awesome in the game and the game actually the story actually is is her you know it's her experience and you know experiencing all these you know, because she's a huge fan of the Marvels, of the Avengers. So it's basically a fan. Imagine you or myself are in front of these soldiers or in front of these superheroes. We would act like freaking teenagers like when seeing something like that amazing, right? So that's how I felt when playing like her. I felt really good, really happy. And she was so fun, and I I liked her character. I think she, they did a great job with her character. 
that I'm pretty sure now a lot of people are gonna want to see her in the movies universe and thanks to this movie because a lot of people just like myself I'm not I was not familiar rise with uh, Kamala Khan I was not familiar familiarized with her character so this is my first introduction to her and I loved it I really did oh my god look at this yeah baby Ooh. Oh, look at here. We actually got dropped. Kamala's reviving us, and we're up again. I love this attack right here. Okay, we dun -dun. Also, you can play these missions over and over again. Every time you play, Ooh, beautiful. I love that. That's a, a technique that you actually unlock. While you play this game, there you go. Ooh, I love his takedowns. Oh, look at that! A little bug right there. Now that we see that right there, we saw that little bug that Captain America was grabbing him invisibly because he was not actually grabbing him. Uh, there is bugs like this, like you saw right there in this game. There is, and one thing that I really, really bugged me about this game—it's not perfect—is the loading time. I think that the loading time in this game is really bad. I think that's something that Square Enix or Eidos Montreal, whoever, they need to try to make those loading screens a lot shorter. That's the number one thing that, if you ask me, what's the number one thing after finishing the story mode in this game? What's the number one thing that I would demand to be fixed? It's the loading time. Because uh, when you actually die, it takes like, wow, it takes more, more than 30 seconds. It's... And, you know, after playing games like, you know, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us 2, games like that, that feels like an eternity. So here I'm going to go ahead and switch to another. This is the Obsidian suit. This suit, I got it. Oh, this is another suit, which is amazing. But this suit right here is the Obsidian suit that you obtain. You know, applying some gear. And I don't know if you actually gained this um, suit with if you actually pre-order the game normally if you did pre-order it let me know in the comments if you pre-ordered the game and got this suit because i don't know if it's exclusive to the earth mightiest edition that i got oh there's another case over here awesome and the suit looks incredible i think it looks great on him look at that that looks awesome and oh i got some skills here to spend of course, like you see there, my character, my Captain America is level 19, power 45. There you go. Ooh. That looks cool. Nice. I love this. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and unlock that. So, okay. We're going to have to try that later on. Holy crap. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Nice. Ah, wait a second. It doesn't. It's not working here. I'm trying to do it. Oh, I think I have to let it charge or something. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to try it later on. I did try a couple times there. Awesome. Oh yes, baby. Hey, I'm trying to do that, and it won't do it. Yeah, Captain America looks so awesome. And, you know, in the story, there is a couple, like, holy crap moment moments. Like, for example, the first time that... Oh, that looks so awesome. I love that attack. The first time that Thor... That Thor... Uh, Thor... <laughs> Thor uh, appears in the game... Oh, it's so awesome. Really, really badass. It, that was a huge moment. Uh, same thing when when we go and rescue, you know, Captain America. That was an awesome moment as well. That was like, oh, man, that was awesome. Beautiful. And it's awesome. You know, I think they did a great job with the story. The story, you know, it's different from the movies, which is great. And I don't see a problem with that. I really don't see a problem with that. You know, this... Things like this happens all the times in the comics. So if you read comics, 
you can't be pissed because these Avengers are not the same Avengers as in the freaking movie. You can't be upset because of that because it happens all the times in the comics. Comics. Sometimes Batman is not the same Batman it was on on the other Batman issues. Same same thing with um, Peter Tony Stark. Sometimes it's not the P Tony Stark the same from another version of the Marvel ca comics. It happens all the times in the comics so for me that's how i'm treating this video game it's not related to the movies as long as you think about that you should have no problems complaining about this game um and of course the acting here is really good the acting here with um oh yeah with laura bailey and and all the other voices for these characters they did a great job they did a great job voicing these characters and the story is really good the acting is really good so and the action the cutscenes oh my god modok the last boss fight was incredible one of the best boss fights i've ever played in a game it was incredible okay, we gotta blow these things up oh yeah baby i love that holy crap we better get out there you go. oh i love that Ah. Oh, get all the way here. Nice. Thanks for having my back. Now I still haven't played I still haven't played with people online. But normally these games, even though yes these games are like games of service, I never do play with people online. I always like to play by myself. Because like I said on my prior video, I like to play on my own rhythm. And there's a lot of things to explore around these worlds that you play in because there's a lot of hidden chests, like I said before. And if you just rush through these missions, you're gonna miss so much items. So that's why I rather play by myself. But yes, you can play with up to four people. You can choose, each character can choose one character. Oh yes. And go into these missions and play online or play these missions. I think you can play these missions offline as well. And complete them, which is cool. Oh man, I love that. I love that. Yeah, that's why Captain America for me is like my favorite character. Ooh. As his abilities, his skills you upgrade to are so freaking amazing. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Nice combo there. Oh man, just, just, just a freak. He's just awesome in this game. Oh, it came out now. You see there, it actually worked out my, my shield bashing. I don't know how you call that move. Oh, down you go, boy. <laughs> that was awesome. I love seeing all these things that they drop. Oh, okay, wait a second. I was wondering why we haven't finished just yet and there was another tower left. One of these uh, chemical... Okay, come on. Take it down. From the flying characters, the character that I like the most is Iron Man, of course. Uh, Thor, I don't like him too much. I don't know if it's because I we don't really get to play him that much when in the campaign. Because, like I said, in the campaign, he appears really late. And when he appears, it's, it's badass. I'm like, holy crap. It's amazing when he appears. And, um, and after that, you don't play him that much. Until the end when you fight the boss just a little bit. Maybe that's why I like Iron Man no more. But let me know in the comments who is your favorite character and why. And is your favorite character here your same favorite character in the movie? I know they're not the same. We're not trying to compare one to the other. But you must have one favorite character in the MCU movie, right? Did it change when you played this game here on this game? Because for me, it did. For me, and like I said, in the movies, it's Iron Man. My number one is Iron Man. And I actually hate Captain America. After Civil War, the movie, 
I hate it. I was team Iron Man. I was so pissed when Iron Man and Bucky, they start beating on Iron Man. Oh my God. And that amazing scene. I was, I was pissed from there on. I was, I, I couldn't, I couldn't until of course Endgame when he picks the freaking hammer, which looks amazing, of course. But I, I hated Iron, uh, Captain America, but I love him here. He's really good. And like I said, the game is not perfect. Game has um, today. The game actually crashed on me. Uh, I was playing uh, one of the levels that was unlocked, and we were, oh, we, my whole team, we were uh, fighting um, an enemy that. Wow, you had to grind to actually beat that guy. And in the middle of it, we'll the system lead. crashed. The whole system free froze. And I had to reboot my Xbox One and I decided to go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and start doing other recordings that I need to do. Pause the game and I decided to go ahead and play this game, this mission, so I can share with you guys um, my opinions about the story. And of course, like I said, this is my personal review of the campaign. Um, I can't say I can review the whole game because I don't play the whole game. I don't play the... The online portion of it, I haven't played it yet. And holy crap, holy crap, these people got like. Um, holy crap, these are stronger than before. I already did this mission. There you go, there you go. Holy crap, he keeps coming forward. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Man, not wow. There you go. Like, see, there you got Iron Man with the blue suit, looks incredible. That's the suit that you unlock. That I unlock it by searching for cases. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Get over here. Nice. Oh, oh man, look at this. Beautiful. Love it. Take out their leaders. Once Taskmaster's perks are gone, they'll force to retreat. Yeah. And by the time you watch this video, keep in mind, I already played like over 20 hours of gameplay already. That's including the story and everything else. And remember, I got the games days earlier. That's the reason why I finished the game so fast. And I've been playing it nonstop. And I hope, I hope that more content is added, especially like new characters with stories that i can't wait for them to keep adding and i can't wait to see the next characters added with the added storylines for each one of them i can't wait for that so yeah guys though that's my personal review of the story campaign mode of this and everything else that i played so far like i said i can't tell you anything about online multiplayer because i haven't played that but i'm enjoying the game alone by myself and i'm loving it and i hope i hope there's more coming and more characters come in more storyline added to the new characters i hope and if there's a sequel i can't wait for it as well so we finished this mission here that i wanted to share with you guys that's the reason why I added the spoiler on the title because I know that this character, a lot of people thought he was dead. I never thought he was be dead forever. I knew he was going to come back, but it's a spoiler. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this game and what you think about my opinions about it. And let me know if you picked it up or not and who is your favorite character. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.